Okay, hello. Uh, so we're just finishing up our microwaving our um, banana bread. So as it comes to an end here and you fin hear it finish, make sure you've got your handy dandy um, oven mitts because when I go to take this out, I don't know if you can see, but there's steam coming from this. If I tried to touch this with my bare hands, I would burn myself. So you can see how the beautiful cake looks. Don't put it down on your counter. Instead, have something else uh, that is heat resistant to put it down on. Now, what I do want you to notice from this is there are little tiny holes that are in here. Um, when we make a mug cake like this in the microwave, we don't have to pierce it necessarily with a toothpick. Uh, we're looking for those holes and we're also looking for it pulling away from the edges, which is what I can see. Now, I'm going to let it cool for a little bit and then one once I let it cool, I want to go around the edges with my knife because that's going to allow it to loosen up. Now keep in mind, when you take things out of the microwave, uh, the way that the microwave cooks is it's still actually agitating inside of there, so which means it's still actually cooking. So you want to be mindful of that and just know that you are going to let it sit for some time. Now I'm just going to save myself a little bit of time here, otherwise I'd leave it for like five minutes, but I just want you guys to see what this looks like here. Ah, voila. So there is my freshly made banana bread. Um, again, I'll just leave it for a little bit. It's got to cool before I can eat it. If I wanted to, I can make some caramel sauce, and I think there's instructions on your recipe of how to make caramel sauce, but it'd be lovely just like that too. So, signing off from the street, enjoy.